What's up guys, my name is Carlos Bernardo. Thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so and hit that notification bell button right down here so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So today I decided to make a video for you guys that is going to include hair because you guys love this content and that's exactly what everyone's going crazy for right now, hair content. So let's go ahead and get into this video right now and I'll share with you guys exactly what I have in store for you. Let's go. It's been tough guys and the sad thing is that here in California the shelter in place just has been extended until June. My heart and my hair are definitely feeling it right now. And I know that by now many of you have seen tons of quarantine haircut fails or trying to go to YouTube school to figure out the best way to cut your own hair. I've made a video myself showing how I cut my own hair. You could click here to see the video. But this is besides the point. When it comes to cutting your own hair at home, you need to know what that means and what you could do for yourself without feeling foolish on the idea that you actually had. The sudden spark to cut your own hair. So today we will learn everything you need to know about quarantine DIY haircuts. First things first, forget about the clean fade, perfectly disconnected comb over or textured fringe your hairstylist used to give you and you actually normally get. You first need to admit to yourself that you cutting your hair isn't going to be your usual haircut. There are many easy options you could choose to get your hair into a state where you actually feel you again. So the first option is a simple trim with scissors or beard trimmers. This is simply outlining your hairline and taking some bulk off up and around the ears and down to your neck. This is a task you can do for yourself or just ask someone when you trust to slowly help you trim. If you have a lot of hair on top, you can buy some thinning shears to reduce the bulk as well. This will be a pretty simple process and you need to take it slow and run your hands through your hair as much as possible while you're doing it. The end result, if you do too much, is looking like you have really thin hair as these shears really won't cut any length but reduce a ton of bulk. If you normally have really short hair and tight fades, simply cut your hair to one length all around using clippers. This will make your hair even and if you're willing to take the hair to your shortest length, it will result in a nice ball look that's really in right now too. Now, the last thing is to actually go for a taper or fade. If you feel like you're ready, go for it. This is what I recommend to everyone who is daring. Start with the biggest, largest clipper and work your way down. If you're willing to trust yourself or find someone who is confident to do the good job and not just do it for laughs, ask them for help and you'll get a better result. But if you are solo, don't try to imitate those awesome barbers on YouTube but pay attention to your hair and only cut the length you're willing to lose. I was very conservative with my DIY cut and honestly, even just a little bit made a world of a difference. Another thing you can factor in is time to try a new hairstyle. Slick it back, do a comb over, or mess with the volume. This is a great time to see how versatile your hair actually is and maybe you'll be inspired for a new hairstyle once we're able to get a haircut. The last thing is the last thing you need to know is call your barber or hairstylist. Just tell them what you want to do and they know your hair a lot better than you do at most times. They might be able to give you some useful tips and tricks on how to cut your hair and what to do. Sometimes we don't need to go as far as fading or doing some crazy barber techniques. We might just want a little bit of trim, but they could tell you something to look out for like your cowlick, like your thinning spots, or even if you're bald, what length they recommend you going for so you won't look as bad. So make sure you consult with your hairstyle or barber. I'm pretty sure they'll actually help you out with something. So these tips are something that you guys should definitely consider. My dog definitely considers them. And I highly suggest you guys check out the video that I made for you guys. I made two types of videos, one me trimming my hair and another one of me actually kind of going with the clippers and cutting my hair. Like I said, I was very conservative because I just got a very short haircut. You guys could see that here as well with a design in it and it was completely short. So I didn't want to mess up my hair and go back to going short because I wanted to grow up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys are doing to take care of your hair this quarantine. Hopefully you guys are doing everything possible to stay sane and not cut your hair drastically and frantically. But if you are, make sure you watch my videos and get helpful tips. Let me know down below what your current hair situation is and what your hair type is. Curly, wavy, straight, thick, thinning, balding, 
Let me know down below in the comment section and also what's your current hairstyle. I would love to hear from you guys. And also if you guys wanna see more of me, I'm uploading on Instagram every single day at 8 a.m. at by Carlos Roberto if you guys wanna see more fashion style stuff. And also day in the life and behind the scenes type things and just get to know me more. Thank you guys, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to put style on everything. Peace out.